Hello, and welcome to section 3, Learning Object-Oriented Programming in Dart. In this section, we will learn the basics of object-oriented programming. What are the similarities in comparison to other programming languages? How you can use them into our Dart programming language? Also, we're going to take a look at classes and object, how to create a library, using getters and setters. We will use it into our game at the end of this section. Now we will move on to the first video of this section that deals with classes and objects in Dart. We will learn how to create a class and how we can create an instance of this class. We will also learn how to provide a field and how to use a constructor. In object-oriented programming, there are classes and objects. A class is defined of how an object can look like. Classes have properties and methods. For example, a car has the properties like speed, name, color, and the methods step into. To step into a car, drive to, move a car, start to, start the engine of a car. On the other hand, you have objects, which are the instances of a class. In our example, it can be the car that you own. A program is made up of classes and objects. These are the building blocks of object-oriented program. Let's take a look at this now in practice. First of all, we need to create a class called environment with the method called stumbleupon. So this class resembles environment and within the environment anything can happen. Now, let us create an instance of this environment class. So, whenever we are moving within our world, we can ask our environment if there is something we stumble upon. We can create a new instance of a class by calling new and then the name of the class. Then, we call upon the stumbleupon method of the instance myEnvironment. In our case, he will return the same sentence every time. Later on, we can interact with the end user by this method. All methods and properties are by default public in Dart. If a variable name starts with an underscore, then it is private. Another important part of classes in an object-oriented programming language are fields. So in our case, we can add the fields name. Every class can have a constructor. In our case, we're going to add one parameter in the constructor, namely. So we can give the field name a value when we instantiate our object. We can do this, for example, with a word would. Now let's see that in action. You will see that he types out would you stumbled upon something. In this video, we have looked at how to create classes and objects. This video would have given you the knowledge on how to build classes and make some instantiation of them.